On 16 September 2021, the mutilated body of 30-year-old Pallakonda Raju was found on a railway track. He was wanted by the police with a bounty of rupees 10 lakh on his head for the alleged rape and murder of a 6-year-old girl from Saidabad near Hyderabad. When pictures of his tattooed bleeding arm surfaced on social media, Telangana cheered. He is dead. Justice is served, said TRS, Congress and BJP politicians in one voice. In fact, a day before Raju's death, none less than Telangana's labor minister, Malla Reddy, had actually said that the rape and murder accused will be killed in an encounter. But why was Raju's death celebrated? Yes, he was accused of a heinous crime. But should the death of anyone, even the vilest person, be celebrated? The answer to this goes back to the 1970s. The death of persons accused of crimes have been celebrated in Telangana for over 50 years. And extrajudicial killings are celebrated with even more fervor. To understand this, rewind to the Srikakulam peasant uprisings that took place in undivided Andhra Pradesh between 1968 and 1971. extrajudicial killings or encounter killings as the then chief minister jalagam vengal rao called them were widely used to suppress the armed rebels encounter killings meant that an accused was killed during an encounter with the police through the 1970s encounter killings were used to suppress the people's war group the precursor to the present day maoists After a lull in the 1980s, in the 1990s, under Chief Minister Chandra Babu Naidu, Naxal outfits in Andhra were again targeted by encounter killings. The frequency of such killings went down when Naidu himself was targeted by a Naxal attack in 2003. But by then, the word encountered had entered the Telugu dictionary. people simply prefer to say he was encountered instead of seeing he was killed in a police encounter since the mid 2000s maoist presence in telangana has gone down drastically but encounter killings continue just the targets have changed now mostly people accused of violent crimes especially rapes and other attacks on women are encountered and a lot of people in the state cheer these encounters as such killings have been normalized over the years in december 2008 three men who were accused of attacking two women with acid in varangal were killed in encounter country made weapons were found near their dead bodies the police claimed that the accused had tried to flee after attacking some police officers large crowds gathered before police stations and in major towns to celebrate this encounter even women and children celebrated these deaths similarly in december 2019 four men who were accused of raping and murdering disha a young veterinary doctor were found dead killed in an encounter in mahbub nagar district again the crowds cheered and congratulated the police between these two encounters 25 others have also fallen to telangana's encounter culture 20 of them were accused of red sander smuggling five were terror accused who were being transported from prison to a court hearing each time the cream of telangana civil society mostly stayed silent and many lay people said good that it happened but isn't this blood lust in the garb of justice when telangana minister malla reddy said that raju will be killed in an encounter it seems he was playing to the gallery and then when raju's body was found on the railway tracks it became justice served everyone was happy but the suicide of an accused or a fake encounter served justice why not nab the accused and conduct a legal trial in court isn't justice truly served when the due process is followed can the police and the courts serve justice in telangana judicial experts think that the popularity of mob justice and extrajudicial killings are making the judiciary the third pillar of our democracy redundant our law and order and judicial system could collapse here the question is not whether raju is guilty the question is that every accused person must get their day in a court and be tried by the law of the land 
instead if we celebrate death or an encounter of the accused that is merely bloodlust it's barbaric we are above that telangana let's take the high road